Hi everyone, welcome back to Zaxdeck. If you've ever faced the frustrating issue where you can't click anything on your Windows 10 or 11 desktop, then today's video is for you. Let's troubleshoot and resolve this issue together. So when I move the cursor to any icon on the desktop, the icons are not being highlighted. If I try to double-click on them to open the application, nothing is happening. Let us look at the first method and see if it will work. This method involves restarting the file explorer. You can restart the file explorer from the task manager. Sometimes, a simple reset of Windows Explorer can resolve this issue. Here's how you do it. First open the task manager. You can open the task manager using the GUI or by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Escape keys. In the Processes tab, locate Windows Explorer. Right-click and select Restart. Let us now check if the desktop is responsive. As you can see it is still not working the icons are not being highlighted. Even when I double click on the icons nothing is happening. So this method can work for you. But in my case it has not worked let us move to the second method. The next method involves checking for Windows updates. Microsoft releases updates regularly to fix known issues. Make sure your system is up to date. As you can see my system is up to date if yours is not up to date. Update the system, this might fix your issue. The next method involves running a few commands in the command line. Open the command line as administrator. Use the system file checker SFC to scan and repair corrupted system files. If SFC finds any issues, it will attempt to repair them. Restart your PC after the scan and repair process completes. Let us check if we can now highlight and open the icons. As you can see I still can't highlight and open the icons, however, this might work for you but here it has failed let us run another command. This command is particularly useful when dealing with corrupted system files that the previous command couldn't fix. It reaches out to Windows Update to fetch the files that are required to fix any corruptions. This command might take some time to complete so be patient. Restart your computer after the command is complete. As you can see everything is now working I'm able to highlight icons and open them. I hope one of these solutions worked for you. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with anyone facing the same issue, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. Until next time, take care.